I love to give a gift, especially the kind of gift that somebody goes, oh my goodness, I love this. And that usually comes when you give them something that they've never seen before or it was specially made for them. So when you look at something like this, that it was made for them by you, that makes their day. And so I love these bags. This is the special treat bag and it comes like this. So I know that you're thinking, what? Yes, when you look at this, you're thinking, no way does this turn into this, but it does. So it comes like this and I'm gonna take it out of the package so that you can see. It's already sewn for you and I know it looks so simple, like how can that possibly translate? But it does. It's already sewn for you, so all you do is just start decorating as soon as you take it out of the package. Now, let's see how it turns into one of these. So this one, if you've already got beads at home, you can take this button and attach those beads and sew that right onto that button so that it attaches nicely to this and tuck it in. See how this is sitting up? On this one, we left it up, but on this little purse, right, we're tucking it under. So we're gonna tuck that under so we've got a nice straight edge, right? So sometimes you want a straight edge, but sometimes you want that fun, funky edge. So we've tucked it under on this one. And then we've got a magnetic clasp, which you, you can get at a local sewing shop. I've got some stuffing in there. Don't look at that because that's just for, <laughs> so that it looks nice in a picture. So we've got that magnetic clasp that you can get in a sewing store and stick that on there. Put a little bit of ribbons uh, glued onto the edge. And we've got these little bird shapes in the shop. And we've also got these butterfly shapes in the shop and you can, paint them or you can cover them with material, whatever you want to do. And you know, you paint your, you paint your treat bag, right? And it looks like a little purse. Super cute, super easy. On this one, we left the jagged edge on the, on there and we took here and all we did was cut a little slit for this jute because we wanted a little bit more spring-like, right? And all I did was tie the end of this rope, this is jute, because right, nice and thick, and tied the end on both ends. And then we took the fence, which is another one of our canvas dies in the shop. It's already sewn for you, painted it white, glued it on the edges to the front. This is one of our ATCs in the shop. And then I put two round flowers on wire I put a butterfly in wire so that it would stick out nice and funky and that I could shape it any way that I wanted. I put glitter on here on the butterfly and then I put paint on my flowers and paint on the bag and painted my ATC so that it would be like a little card and put that in my fence and stuck it on there and put a little bit of paper in there. And then you can put these, put whatever gift that you want to inside and it's a, an adorable gift bag. You can put whatever presents, whatever surprise you want to put in there. And not only is it a reusable bag that they're going to love, they're just going to be so surprised when they get the gift in this adorable bag that you made for them. So it's a gift that keeps on giving. I mean, that's really special. And it's more special because you made it for them and you thought of them when you made it. So I think it's adorable. I think you should make one for someone today. So that's the special treat bag and it's in the shop now, as well as all the other little embellishments that go with it in the next shop by Rita Bearcat. Uh, yeah.